Hey guys, Carl Cooper with OnTheBlack.com coming to you from McFadden's in New York City. And I'm here with Joe Janish of Mets Today and Dave Doyle of Mets Report. And the topic of conversation is the left side of the infield, specifically David Wright and Jose Reyes. Uh, both had disappointing years uh, last year, Wright in the power categories and Reyes just not being on the field long enough. And Dave, want to ask you the question first uh, about Reyes and Wright having bounce back years and, and your confidence level in them coming back this year. I am confident. I think that they're probably both going to end up coming back much more towards what you would consider an average year for them, um, if not an outstanding year, especially with Jose Reyes. Uh, this is actually the last year of his contract. The Mets do have a, a, a club option for next year with him. I'm sure they'll pick it up, I'm the, but so I'm sure he'll be here. But um, but he is starting to get to the point in his career where he's going to have to begin singing for supper. So uh, that's that's where I think this is going to go. And Joe, I'm very excited for uh, to see Jose and David back this year. Um, Jose is one of the reasons I I love to tune into the Mets every day. So as long as he's healthy, I am positive that he's going to have a very strong year and be the same exi exciting player that we've known him to be for the last you know, five, six years. As far as right, I think last year was just a little bit of an issue with uh, changing his stroke a little bit for City Field. I think he's going to come back with his, his old stroke and he's going to go back to his 2,500, you know, 310. And I'm going to be very happy to see both of them. And uh, with Jose Reyes, I, I, the topic of conversation this spring, uh, besides his health, is where he's going to bat in the lineup. And Let's assume that he's going to be healthy at the start of the season. Uh, the plan, it seems like, is for him to bat third. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, and just want to get you, your guys' thoughts on that. I like Jose Reyes as a run producer, as a guy who, who can be an RBI man. But on the Mets, this team, he has to be the leadoff man because if, if he's batting third, then where is David Wright hitting? I, I don't see, you know... David Wright not getting an at bat in the first inning, so that means he's either batting first or second. And I don't, I don't envision Jerry Manuel doing either of those things. I see him batting him lower in the order, and and, and with that situation, it just doesn't work. I don't, I don't see Jose Reyes on this team as a number three hitter just because of the other personnel. Now you did a blog post and said that maybe Wright should bat leadoff. So you're. <laughs> well, I mean, well, look at it. I mean, David Wright is one of the top uh, OBP guys. I mean, that's. At the top of the lineup, you want somebody who can get on base and take pitches. That's what David Wright does. And if they're going to put Reyes third, then put Wright at first. Who cares? Reyes batting third. Uh, I definitely agree with everything that Joe said, and I think in the long term that's the way things are going to end up working out with this team. But I do also think that the season is long enough that you can do some short-term experiments to see how things work out. Uh, you can start Reyes at uh, hitting third for a week, maybe two weeks at the most, to see if it's working out. And if it uh, starts to look like a failure right off the bat, you can just uh, put the kibosh on it quickly. So I'm open to a new experiment. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, let us know your thoughts about Jose Reyes and David Wright, and we'll talk to you soon.